Welcome back to Veil of Death, MTG, and to another of my personal top 5 lists. How many of my arbitrary rules I'm going to break? Stick around to find out. Last time we were here, I talked about my top 5 favorite reprints in Double Masters 2022. But now I get to talk about new cards from Dominaria United. But first, disclaimer. Not only is this my personal top 5, but I also tried not to include legends or cards as commander because, wow, this set has just so many new legends. But speaking of legends, here is what I call a special honorable mention to start us where I will tell you the top three legends I would like to see and play against. Starting with Vohar, Vodalian Desecrator and Isoref Outlet in the command zone. But also it loots and casts stuff from your yard? You, you know me and graveyard shenanigans. Also it's a Phyrexian Merfolk, I mean what's not to love? Then we got Maria, Scholar of Antiquity, and well, it's Gruul Urza! This is a commander I look forward the most to playing against. Seriously, this card is just fun. Well, fun for my opponent when he plays against me and stacks me out, but you get one. And finally, because a friend of mine, Danielle, asked so kindly, so this one is for him and it's Joda the Unifier. Legendary Cascade basically, so why not have some fun and shenanigans? Also, Five Color is very popular in my local community, so yeah, why not? Now to my actual honorable mention, a card that does not see much play in EDH or CDH, but I still am happy about this reprint and it just has to be Liliana of the Veil. I mean, what else can I say? I play modern and I see this card a ton. And it even got a new awesome art by Martina Fachkova, so what's not to love there? Just look at it. Just look! Yes, yes, now to the actual list finally, okay? At number 5, well I could not decide so I put the entire cycle here, yes, all 5 of the Defiler creatures at number 5. It's like I planned this. Now I don't think they will see very much CDH play except some specific decks, but otherwise for casual this can be a ton of fun. Obviously the blue one is my favorite because, you know, Phyrexian things, and I did want to test it in my Rafine but might actually just try it in either of my casual Esper decks. Not sure which one just yet, but you know. We'll see. Looking forward to playing with these and seeing what fun stuff we can get into with them. At number 4, however, I put a card that I know which text I want to put in, and yes, it is Relic of Legends. My casual Angelo and Sephiroth decks are absolutely giddy and excited for this card, and I mean, it's an awesome callback. Yes, a little nostalgic reminder for me because when I started playing Commander, basically, you could not see a deck in my local community that did not have Coalition Relic in it. And then it somehow disappeared one day. So yes, I'm very excited for this new relic and also I'm sure some decks over at the CDH side of the table will want to test and play this. And again, I mean, it's a mana rock. And it's awesome. It's just really good. But we'll see where this rock will land over at that side. So only time will tell. At number three, I put a card that I just fell in love with when it got spoiled and it is the Ether Channeler. And yes, this one I will try in a CEDH deck, specifically in my Tentacle Sushi, a Tevish Frasius midrange deck, where Displacer Kitten is already looking forward to it. And yes, with Flash this card would have been even more bonkers, but I still love it and I'm sure it will also see playing casual. Who does not love a creature that gives you another creature that you can sacrifice for value? Oh wait, that is my shtick. At number 2 however, I put a card I think we'll see mostly play in CEDH. Yes, it will see play in standard, etc. and other formats, but here we're talking about EDH and CDH, and this is like perfect for it? Yes, it is cut down. I love removal, and yes, you should always run more removal, but this card just gets so many important creatures in CDH, it's just bonkers. For casual, I think it's too narrow, but for CDH, bye Timna, bye Draenith, bye Ophi, and goodbye Krark, among others. There are more smarter people than me on the interwebs that can tell you what exactly this can and cannot catch, but to me, this card is awesome and I already updated my Rafine list to test it. And yes, if there is a deck I mentioned in this video, I shall put it in the link in the description box below, if I do have a deck list online for it. <laughs> and finally, at number one, who here plays the bet I will put a card that interacts with, with the graveyard? I hope you won't, because at number one for me, it's Sarah Paragon. 
You all know me and reanimating stuff. However, this sister to Sun Titan is awesome in both worlds. Casual and CDH. I just hope to snag like two free copies just to play my various white X decks. I know in CDH is going to my Rafine list. I just wish it was a Phyrexian Angel, but oh well, you can't win them all. And yeah, this concludes my top 5. Honestly, this set is awesome and I'm looking forward to my previews and to playing with or against these cards and showing them all to you in awesome action. Have an awesome weekend and enjoy your pre-release and leave in the comments below what cards I did not mention that you look forward to. And remember, I will see you all behind the rail.